Okay, last lesson, capacitance. The ability to retain and release the variable by increasing the potential difference. When we talked about electric potential, this is the equation, the variable divided by the potential difference. When we talked about the equation for electric capacitors or charge coupled devices in space, that means the ability to absorb photons of light and increase voltage or absorb charge and increase voltage in space, that means in electricity, um, these are examples of electric capacitors. Tanks that keep charge by increasing its voltage and they work as filters in circuits. A capacitor for heat is what we call uh, anything, any, any matter that stores heat from the sun and increases the temperature. This is the equation for heat capacitance. It's energy divided by change of temperature. And we said water is the biggest capacitor on Earth. Water is the substance that has needs more energy to increase temperature. Good. A capacitor for uh, air has to do with the ability to absorb an amount of volume by increasing pressure. That is the concept of compressibility. We also said that when we look at the same equation, volume over pressure for water, Water is good not to store, but to transmit uh, energy. So water, we say, it's incompressible. And the last concept, the concept of elasticity that is written here, is about Hooke's law um, that has to do, for example, with the ability of the muscles to absorb certain loads and stretch or compress. Same for springs. Now, <clears throat> to finish this five lessons, I would like to take, for example, the concept of capacitance and compare these uh, ideas to the ancient uh, Vedic science and more specifically with the ideas of the doshas, the three doshas.